Satan. It's a gathering of top government officials, private sector players, and young people who are represented here by members of the Nigeria Youth Service Corps as the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations launched the Nigerian Reputation Management Group in Abuja. Born out of the realization of the country's image on the global scene, the Nigeria Reputation Management Group will drive a new narrative that will challenge the stereotypes. We are here to unveil what will become Nigeria's biggest possible transformation pillar and driver, the reputation project. The reputation of our country needs some help. Today's event is NIPR's robust response to the call. John Momo, now chairman of today. The initiative is both government and citizens driven with enormous shared responsibility. Nigeria's Reputation, again I repeat, needs a radical transformation. And I'm now referring to our standing on international rankings. Instead, I'm talking about the reputation that is built on the integrity of our institutions, the transparency of our leadership and the well-being of our people. So today I offer a charge, first to our politicians and leaders. The mandate that you politicians hold is a sacred trust, not a personal opportunity for enrichment. Ethical leadership must become the standard, not the exception. And to the citizens, I urge you to remember that the future of our country lies not only in the hands of our leaders, but in our own actions. We cannot demand integrity from others if we do not hold ourselves accountable. The way people are using social media to destroy individuals, to destroy the nation, is absolutely unacceptable. It's very, very bad indeed. Because you see, we can all work together and have a good reputation for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. One or two people can just destroy it. And this program will not go anywhere if the people of Nigeria continue to do what we are doing now. Destroying the very basis of our existence. Minister, Nigeria can boast of an array of sons and daughters who are making Africa proud on the global Thank stage. However, the negative behavior of a few have mostly been spotlighted by social and midstream media, a development the government urges citizens to challenge. Nigerians both at home and in the diaspora are the primary ambassadors of our national brand. Every interaction, every social media post, and every business transaction contributes to how Nigeria is perceived globally. We must find a way of striking a true balance between, especially for the media, reporting accurately, objectively, and also being patriotic about your country. The high point of the event is the digital launch, which highlights the pivotal role, professionalism, trust, communication, inclusivity, and ownership in the new drive to recreate Nigeria's reputation nationally and internationally.